In November of 2023, we experienced a tragedy in our family here in Lone Tree. My sister-in-law passed away uh, very suddenly and unexpectedly, and that was the way that I was introduced to the vic victim's advocate process. When the victim's advocates arrived to help our family, I was immediately so impressed with how compassionate they were. That day was a very stressful, hectic day. We had a lot going on. There was a lot of emotions going on. There was a lot of people in the home. Having two people there to walk us through, the detectives are here, the coroner is here. This is what's going to happen next. This is the support that we can offer. These are the things to think about when we leave. All of those elements were so impressive and having the victim's advocates there just brought this sense of calm. It brought a sense of, okay, we aren't alone here. We're not just waiting to, to hear what the police officers are going to say. We're just really in this, uh, in this situation where we knew what was happening next. And I was watching that thinking, this is a service that is so amazing for our community, and it's also the first thing that piqued my interest in becoming a victim's advocate. I'm a stay-at-home mom now, but I spent my career working in human resources, and so I kind of feel like I've always been a natural crisis manager, and I've been interested in doing something that would help the community now that I have a little more time on my hands, and this just being a victim's advocate felt like the perfect fit, and I'm a big believer in things being presented to you at the right time in your life. And what happened with my family really encouraged me to think that I want to be able to give back in the same way and give the same help to others that we received. What I've learned about this process of being not only on the victim side of things, but also now being an advocate, is that there are people out there that can help you in a time of need. and it's so important to be able to lean on others, but it's so important to be able to offer that to the community and offer that to others if you're able to. And that is really the biggest reason why I would encourage someone to become a victim advocate. It really is the most rewarding thing for that exact reason.